Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fish and Viz on a windy, blustery, cold day. That warm weather couldn't last forever, but it's late in the late in the month, but I got my mystery tackle box. I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity to be in a, a really good, productive spot where I could actually catch something on some of the baits that come in the uh, February mystery tackle box. So I'm going to get right to it, open it up, show you what's in here, and I've got the Blue Plains water treatment plan. I've just recently been out here with my buddy Paul, and I'm back out here again with him on his Ranger, and I've got deep water, I've got shallow water, I've got all kinds of crazy conditions today to work this box out. So let's go ahead and tear into it and see what we got. This time I'm going to break the card out. I'm going to read what I've got as I go. So first one, and again, a lot of you have seen what some of these boxes have this month, but this is the Slim Shad D9 coming out. Absolutely perfect bait for the Potomac River, for the colder water, the tight wiggle, the depth, the pattern. It's perfect. So it's a little uh, shad pattern, Slim Shad D9. So I'm going to get the th thread fit shad style out there. I'm going to throw that up against some of these rocks. That could be a really good bait today. So we're going to play with that on the Potomac River. Next bait in the box, fat free shad. Who doesn't know what a fat free shad is? Great, great, deep, deep diving crankbait. I've got a deep hole out here, guys. There's a great big deep hole out here where the warm water discharge comes out, and that's a deep diver to get down to them. So I'm gonna be throwing a fat-free shad. This thing dives up to, I think up to 16 feet is where this thing goes, 12 to 16 feet, depending on the line size. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the rod and reel I'm gonna set up on that. That's gonna be a simple seven foot, medium action, moderate action uh, crankbait rod that I've got on some 10, 12 pound tests. So there's the fat-free shad by Bomber. Really cool, very unique bait. This thing is one ounce of lead. That's the uh, hatch spin by Lunker Hunt, a little bluegill pattern with a little tail spin on it. So that thing's gonna get day down into some deep water. I could raise my rod tip, keep it a little bit more shallow, shallow, but there's a bluegill pattern that there's bluegill in here, there's crappie in here, there's all kinds of bait fish in here. So I'm anxious to pull this through uh, some of these suspended fish, see if I can jig that up off the bottom a little bit and see what the Lunker Hunt, Lunker Hunt hatch spin can do out here in the, in the Potomac. All right, guys, here's one of the first soft plastics out of the back. It's a straight wild worm, VNM baits. So let's take a look at this. This is a uh, June bug looking color, black, blue flake. And this is a really interesting. It's got a short, wide body to it, but a really almost eel-like tail. So that's gonna be a really interesting thing to drag across the bottom. I'm gonna probably Texas rig that and to see if we can get any uh, bites off some soft plastics in this very unique, very interesting area of the Potomac River. So that's this first soft plastic out of the Mystery Tackle Box for the month of February. All right, the last soft plastic we have coming out is the Buddha Baits. This is the big swagger worm. This thing stinks. It's got great scent to it. I think it's garlic, so stick and smell here. Yep, that's the mega garlic, crazy, crazy green pumpkin paddle tail worm. That's going to be awesome. So something as simple as that on a really great worm hook, which is also provided. We got the big bait soft plastic by Mustad. That's a no-brainer. All right, there's the uh, five-aught worm hook. We're going to go ahead and hook that up with. That's the big bite soft plastic. Sorry about my face mask, guys. It's windy out here. It keeps getting in my mouth. Perfect combination. That's also the hook I'm going to use for the other soft plastic. Month of February, guys. I got my mystery tackle box a little late, but I'm out in a great spot where the fish are hopefully biting. So let's get to it. Let's start rigging up and see what we can do. All right, first bait out of the box, guys. I'm going to throw this Slim Shad, see what I can do. There's the uh, Lucky Craft Slim Shad. Awesome, awesome lure. All right, I'm going to do it again, guys. As you've seen in a lot of my videos, I'm a big proponent of snap, so I'm going to lose this O-ring. All right, so off comes the O-ring, and already tied on to my 10-pound test is my little snap. So there's my little snap, and that's going to be an easily interchangeable bait. So on goes my Slim Shad. And that's it, guys. We're good to go. All right, so we're going to throw out that Slim Shad. I've got my Speed Spool LFS Lose Rod. I've actually got a custom Speed Stick. This is the Jerkbait Special. It's specifically a uh, six foot seven medium action moderate bass. So it's a great, great rod for a Slim Shad. You know, something that's kind of in between a crankbait and a jerkbait. So I can give this a couple little jerks, let it pause, swim it real slow. Perfect, perfect rod, real combination with this uh, fluorocarbon and 10 pound test for the Slim Shad. So that's what we're doing.
All right, I'm gonna switch it up, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that bomber out here and see if I can get that fat-free shad to run through this really, really deep hole where this warm water discharge is coming out. I had one strike on that, it actually got off, so that wasn't an absolute miss, but I'll be going back to that here and there throughout the day to see if I can get something on the slim shad, but let's get that bomber out and see what we can do. All right, here we go. I'm gonna bust out the bomber fat-free shad, 12 to 16 foot diver. What color do they call this? This is the, uh, the grape, grape shad. It's got a purple back, nice pearl, pearl sides, and an orange belly, so that's, that's great. We'll go ahead and see what we can do. Same deal here, fellas. I'm gonna actually go ahead and take off the O-ring. All right, again, there goes the O-ring, that's off. Big old plug, and there goes, there goes the snap. Such an easy, such an easy, convenient, convenient deal right there, guys. All right. All right, fat free shad trying to trying to put time to put you to work. Just throwing it on my old quantum smoke reel, six three to one, real basic setup. Like I said, it's twelve pound test fluorocarbon. There's the uh, there's the avid the avid seven foot medium medium heavy power moderate action crankbait rod great great setup for a plug like this so with this deep diving plug you know in this area where i'm at with this uh, warm water discharge there's only a small little pocket of area where it's pretty deep it gets down to about 15 17 feet and i could run this plug through that deeper water but everything surrounding it's pretty shallow and if this thing's going on 12 pound test down about 12 13 feet i've got a big risk of bumping into some cover and maybe snagging it up but with this bomber this thing this thing floats so what you're going to do is you're going to creep it and crawl it over that cover bang it into cover get that deflection try and get that reaction bite as it's coming back into you but as you bump into cover you want to give it a little pause so it bangs into the cover and floats back out of it so that helps you avoid some of the snags you're going to get when you're throwing a deep diving plug up into some shallow water so it really helps to avoid losing your bait so i've given that a few good casts into this deep water i pretty much covered the water pretty good with it I'm I'm gonna move on to that lunker hunt. I'm gonna get that little lunker hunt, little heavy leaded uh, bluegill looking tail spinner deal on and see if I can get something with that. And if I haven't apologized for the wind, guys, I'll apologize now. I got the wind muff on this mic, but it's blowing out here. So regardless, it's gonna be a little bit noisy. So I apologize. All right, so fortunately I've got the perfect rod and reel set up for this awesome little lunker hunt deal. This lunker hunt, Hatch spin, this little bluegill looking thing's one ounce. This thing's heavy. So what I got here is I've got my Shimano Zodius rod. This Zodius rod I've got here is rated up to one ounce. So medium heavy, seven foot one. I've got it on a high speed lose reel, the Team Lose Pro Z. 15 pound test fluorocarbon so that's gonna be awesome to throw in here and just keep it in the middle of the water column maybe drop it down to the bottom and hop it here and there that's gonna be a really interesting bait to fish and it's the smallest bait that I've pulled out of the box so far so hopefully if these bass are being a little more finicky out here in the Potomac this could maybe get them let's see what happens it's a solid little piece of lead that little tailspin bluegill looking deal that's gonna be a really great little bait to throw around in here and hopefully if some suspended fish see it they'll love it all right guys we're all tied on with this lunker hunt let's see what this little guy can do it's gonna be interesting i've never fished a bait like this before so it's gonna be really interesting to see the kind of action i get out of it there it is in the water hopefully you guys can see it great little tailspin it probably sinks like a rock yeah it sinks like a rock so basically i'm gonna have to keep that up when i cast great looking little bait let's see what happens Oh, I think I got tapped on the first cast, Paul. That's pretty awesome. If I did. It's a tiny little bait. It looks really cool. Cast like a bullet. All right, folks, if you didn't notice, look behind me. We've got low water, we got slack tide. These tidal waters are real tough when it's slack, so these moving baits aren't quite cutting it. So what I'm gonna do is grab some of the soft plastics out of this uh, mystery tackle box, see if we can drag something real slow across the bottom, see if we can entice some of these non-reacting uh, slack water tidal fish to bite. All right, folks. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get the Buddha bait, the swag wor swagger worm out. So the swagger worm is gonna come out. I'm gonna Texas rig it, real basic Texas rig. So that's how that's gonna work. It's got a little split tail. This is that deal where you break it apart so it gets it some action when it swims through the water. And I'm gonna take the Mustad 
big bite soft plastic, the five odds. It's gonna be probably the perfect match for that. So we're gonna go and break that open. Texas rig it. I think I've got about a 5 16th ounce tungsten lead. Basic tuck Texas rig, guys. It's gonna be all we do, real simple. And I'm gonna put that on the exact same setup that I just had for the uh, for the little lunker hunt tailspin deal. So that's gonna be the setup, just three basic pieces of tackle. Here we go. And I'm not dragging this through much cover. There's really not much but rocks and maybe a stick or two down there. So I'm not even gonna peg this. I'm not even gonna peg this sinker. I'm just gonna have a simple sliding tungsten, tungsten sinker. I'm gonna polymer knot my 5 aught Mustad hook. And I'm gonna Texas rig the Buda bait. Real easy. 15 pound test fluorocarbon. Like I said, on a medium heavy 7-1 Shimano Zodius rod. There we go, Palomar. Basic, basic stuff. All right, good deal. All right, basic Texas rig, here we go. Just past the barb. The bait's really soft. Like I said, it really stinks. Just over the eye of the hook. Line her up. Oop, don't want to lose that second hook there. Don't blow away. It is windy out here, guys. There you go. Perfect. Just, just barely enough to catch. That's a sharp hook. There you go, folks. Do you? All right, Paul's on board over there. Let's take a look what Paul's got. There's my Buddha bit. What you got, Paul? Let's see what you got. Nice. Oh, Paul's got a giant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't hoist it. Don't hoist it. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. I got you, buddy. Nice. Nice, Paul. Look at that. <laughs> drop shot rod. I didn't even see you break out the drop shot. Good job, man. That's a giant on a drop shot. See, I knew we'd have to go finesse. So I'm, that's, uh, we don't have to weigh him. That's probably what? Three, three and a half probably. Paul, that's an awesome fish. Man, that is a beautiful fish. Good job. So, like I said, I was just literally rigging up my, <laughs> just rigging up my soft plastic on my mystery tackle box and saying the low tide out here just slack things off. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and see what we can do on these uh, more finesse options. Good job, buddy. Yeah, Way man. to go. Thanks. All right. Paul just whacked himself a three and a half plus pounder on some soft plastic. So hopefully it'll be my turn. Let's see if this, uh, this Buddha bait does some action here. That was, that was a nice fish. So, you got another one? Yep. No way, that drop shot's killing it. Paul's got a back-to-back -back cast deal going on here. All right, you don't need me for this one, nice. Good job, man, drop shot. And I just, just threw out my first cast with my Texas rig deal. So let's see if I can compete with Paul a little bit with his itty bitty little four inch, four and a half inch robo worm. Nice job, buddy. Awesome, dude. Oh, oh, I had one. Oh, I had one on the Buddha bait. It's like they're turning on out of nowhere. That was awesome. I actually had a pretty good bite right there. Now the worry is with all this scent on here is that I might catch another big blue catfish like in my one of my other videos. Hold on. There we go. Oh, first cast with a Buddha bait. It's a nice one. Look at this. Awesome. Soft plastic, guys. Awesome. Slack tide. Check that out. That's my first cast with the setup out of the mystery tackle box for the month of February. The Buddha bait. Barely dragging it with that Texas rig and that 5 aught Mustad hook. How exciting is that? Guys, the Mystery Tackle Box has got some baits. Don't hesitate to get yourself one. Get a subscription, you never know what you're gonna pull out. It's not the biggest bass of my life, but it's the first bass of my day. So here we go. Oh, number two on the Buddha bait. <laughs> that's, that's three casts, guys. I had, whoa, there it goes. Well, we got it in the boat. But that's three casts, so I had one cast literally in between the first one with this Buddha bait. They're digging it, guys. This little, uh, this thing's getting tore up too. So there's, and I literally had enough, I had two bites on the very first fish I caught with this thing. So that was the second one. So let's just keep going. I'm gonna try and catch a couple more with this. I'm gonna switch over to that last soft plastic and see if I can actually pull off a couple soft plastic mystery tackle box fish. And then when the tide turns and things get even more active, we might actually be able to get some on those moving baits a little later. I just threw it in and it went down. Oh my God, dude, I can't even believe, I got a good one. Got a real good I got a real good one. 
Awesome, Look at this, guys! What the? Yes. Oh my God! Awesome! Look at that fish, yeah. guys! Dude, I am so lit up, excited. <laughs> Paul got like a three and a half. I get like a three and change. Good job! I'm I'm three for four. I'm three for four on cast with the Buddha bait. And check out that beast, barely dragging it on the bottom. Like I said, unput, unpegged tungsten. I got no audio because my chesty just went out. How do you like that one, guys? <laughs> Awesome. All right, guys. So I just lost the chesty as I was letting that big one go on the uh, on the Buddha bait. But look at it; it is absolutely just tore up to shreds. So I was like, would I go for three for five casts? Yeah. Like three for five or something like that on that one bait on that. And that's that mustad. That mustad was taking care of business. That big bite bait, super sharp, locked them in good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach for that other soft plastic we got, the VNM baits. Let me grab it real quick. All right, so here we go. We got the uh, VNM Wild Thing series. Now the big deal here is that uh, is that I basically have a really different color. Now it's pretty clear water in here. This would be a great, great bait for the, you know color-wise for more stained water. But you never know. I'm gonna throw it out there and see if uh, these aggressive bass want to bite. We've got super clear water around us and some stained water because we got the warm water discharge coming up with super clear water. But there are some more stained areas surrounding us. So as active as they're getting on these uh, bottom baits, let's go ahead and rig this one up and see what happens. The only challenge here is that this has got actually a short area of meat and this this hook is a just actually this hook is just perfect so that setup in the mystery tackle box for the two soft plastics is absolutely money. It has a flat side and has a rounded side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in on the rounded side to Texas rig it. So it's going to go just again just a little bit past the barb to the bend. I'm going to come straight out over the bend and just over the eye just a hair and this is perfect okay so good deal actually you know what I wanted to do my bad I actually should have gone in the other way guys I want to come out this I want to come out the the flat side of this bait so here we go let's do it again so right in the tip out the flat side you can do it however you want you know it's gonna it's gonna have pretty much the same action but it's just about how the hook lies in the bait all right so just over the just over the eye of the hook coming in the flat side Texas are just the same way. I'm not going to go straight out of the bait. I'm going to keep it buried in the in the meat of it. And that's a perfectly straight bait. And just pierce that a little bit and back it out. That way you have a nice little hole for the hook to penetrate through. And there we go. Now I'm going to scent this up. It doesn't have a lot of scent on it like that other one did. So I'm going to put a little scent on it. Hopefully that'll help it out. But I can't imagine that not getting them if they're, if they're biting like they are now. All right, I'm going to put a little scent on it. I got the Jack's juice right here. This is some crawfish scent. The other one was garliced up really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure to add a little bit of scent to it. And let's see what we can do. I'm kind of excited for this first cast to see what happens. Oh, oh, I got a bite, guys. That was the first cast with a wild thing. And I actually got bit. That was awesome. Oh, come back. Check it out. Check it out, guys. First cast, I actually got a bite, so that's not a bad deal. So they're not hesitating on the color. I just didn't get them, so let's get it back out there and see if they want the wild thing. Nice. Good job, Paul. Paul's on with the drop shot again. I'm afraid to put my rod down because I'm getting bit too. Let's see what you got. I'm gonna try and land it. Is it decent? Uh, not as big as the other one. Are you sure? Let me see if I can. He's a good size. Yeah, nice fish. You can handle that. Hoisting gently, dude. You got six pound test. Nice. Awesome job. All right, Paul's whacking him on the drop shot. I'm still working my wild thing trying to get a bite. All right, guys, let's test the theory on color. So I got one bite and I've cast this now about 10, 15 times. I'm gonna go back to the green pumpkin Buddha bait in this clear water. It's not that this thing's not gonna get bites. I'm telling you, this thing will work in the right conditions, but it's really a more dirty water, darker sky, a little bit different situation color wise. So I'm gonna get a nice fresh Buddha bait back out. That thing was killing it. So let's go ahead and see if we start throwing this green pumpkin out there with that great garlic scent and see if we start catching them again. That'll kind of tell a tale about color. All right, here we go. We got another fresh one going on. It's kind of got the thickness of a uh, of a Senko, but then it tapers down really good to that really cool little zipper tail type of thing. Paul, don't distract me over there with another fish. I'm trying to rig up over here, buddy. All right, here we go. One more time. That's about the lineup. Perfect. All right, there we go. That awesome mustad hook. Just one little poke, 
and we'll unlock that tail so we can get that little zip tail action. All right, here we go, guys. Buddha bait. Can you imagine? First cast with the Buddha bait. If that, if, they, if I get whacked again on this, man, it tells it. That tells all kinds of tales. Done it about yeah. natural colors, clear water, sunny skies. Oh yeah, they're actually pumping water out now. So we're sitting here over here by the warm water discharge, actually seeing more water being pumped out as we speak. Could be a good reason why these fish are turning on, not to mention that the tide might be starting to come in. We got all kinds of good things going on today. As cold and blustery as it is, it's still a great day to be out on the river. Man. Oh, there we go. Oh, did I get him? Second cast with the Buddha bait and I lost him. There's another nice scoop. Oh, Paul got bit too. There it is. Buddha bait, second cast. That's telling the tale, guys. Sorry about that wind, but I'm telling you right now, that green pumpkin and that garlic scent on that Buddha bait is the ticket. All right, let's keep going. Oh, I got another bite. Two casts in a row, I got a bite. Unbelievable, I'm losing them, but that's okay. They might be small fish, but two casts in a row, I got a bite on the Buddha bait. Oh, oh, unreal. <laughs> Third cast, third bite. I can't believe it, dude. What the heck is going on? Oh my God, not only did it crush the bait, but it actually took the tail. Golly, I'm gonna fish it without the tail, dude. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna throw it right back in there, all compact, all hook, and see if I can get one to eat it like this. That'll be absolutely awesome if I get one to bite and catch it like this, Paul, let's see. All right, no more tail biters here. There's no tail left. All right, folks, I think that tail makes a big difference. That's about four casts without the tail. That's maybe a little bit of a waste of time, but I'm going back to a fresh one. Let's get it going. You feel the rocks? Oh, fish? Oh, look at Paul. Paul's first cast with a Buddha bait. Let me see this thing. Bring it over here. That's unreal. Dude, first cast, we, we set Paul up. We set Paul up. I'm, I'm taking his fish. But look, I just want to show you guys. Paul grabbed one of the Buddha baits. We Texas rigged him. He actually went for an extra wide gap four-aught hook on his. Same lead sinker. Paul, what do you think of that Buddha bait out of the awesome mystery tackle bait, box? Man. That's awesome. That's ridiculous, isn't it? That's so cool, man. There's your fish. Cool, man. Nice job on the Buddha bait out of the mystery tackle box. Yeah, man. First cast for Paul. That thing's ridiculous. That was ridiculous. First cast. Yeah. Oh. Another one. Back to back casts. Did you really? That is absolutely hilarious. I can't even believe it. Slow down. Slow down. You should hoist him in here. Easy. Bring him in here. Another one. Look at this. Seriously, guys. Back to back casts on Paul's Buddha bait. My mouth is muffled because I, I can't even believe you, dude. <laughs> Love it, <man. laughs> that is ridiculous that's, awesome, dude. that's so cool that bait is killing it again let's do this one more time i'm using the mustad hook that was in the uh that was in the box paul's using a four aught extra wide gap same deal just a slip sinker he's not even pegging it and uh yeah buddha bait green pumpkin crazy right yeah it's awesome awesome good deal where the hell are you casting <laughs> i've been casting mine that's stupid, dude. That is absolutely, dude. If they're biting like that on it, I'm telling you, man, they're gonna be nonstop. And I just told you to change it. How many times did I tell you change? No way. Are you on? Yep. Are you kidding? Third cast, three for three, Paul. I can't even believe it, dude. Three for three. We're sitting there chatting about it. How I told him to change it from that drop shot, and he's wasting time. And now, you're, what do you think now? I love it. You gonna listen to me? Some Buddha bait. <laughs> You're like a little pitch boy now. It's the funny way you're talking. I love it. Good job, man. Holy crap. I got to get back out there. What the hell? Where are you casting? Like right in here? Yeah. Oh my God. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Don't hit my line when you cast. Give me one, man. Oh my God. Too funny. They're just turning on, man. That unpeg deal is also awesome too. It gives a little more action and also keeps the weight, it helps the weight. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it feels good too, guys. That feels like a nice, oh my God. This is a giant. And not a giant, but it's a good pass. Oh my God. See, oh my God, it's a giant. It is a, it is a giant. I'm going to call that a giant. Guys, seriously, Buddha bait, I'm telling you right now. This thing is a big, big Potomac bass. Look at this thing. 
I don't know how what kind of limit we've caught on the Buddha bait guys, but right now that's the bait of choice in the mystery tackle box for the month of February. No questions asked. Absolutely yeah. awesome. Isn't that great? All right, back she goes, guys. Catch a seven pounder, dude. For someone that doesn't like spicy stuff, what do you put on? Oh, did you just do that? Is that's a big fish, dude? That's a big fish, Paul. I know that's a big fish. I know it is. I can tell by the way you reared back on it. Does it feel big? And you're eating too. Is it big? Yeah. If it's a catfish, it'd be interesting. But that looked like a bass bite to me. I cannot wait to see how big this fish is. Is it big? Oh yeah. It's a big one, right? Yeah. Do not lose this fish. Is it a catfish? I don't know. Does it feel like a catfish yet, dude? I can't. It didn't jump yet, so I'm wondering if it's a big catfish. It's I a very garlic, that. very garlicky bait. Paul has got a giant. Yeah, it's a big catfish. Oh, it's a big, ugly channel cat. <laughs> the Buddha bait guy. It's a Buddha bait. You got one of those, uh... That's garlicky stuff. I'll get it, dude. I'll get it with my bare hands. I can do a bogo grip on it, but look at this catfish, guys. Just chill, chill, chill. Oh, hold on a second. I'll let you... It's really wrapping itself up good. Here we go. There we go. All right, got it back in its mouth. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Big channel cat. That's a big channel cat. It's not even a blue catfish, dude. All right, here we go. Oh! <laughs> there he is. I got him. I didn't want to get your deck all nasty, but a big old channel. I got, a, I got, a robo. I get it I got him. I got him. He's good. I mean, I got a pair of that is a big channel cat, dude. No, we're good. Okay. All right, Paul, good job on your big old nasty catfish. Oh man, he's gross. <laughs> yeah, he's a big one. All right, there's Paul's big ugly channel cat. They're, they're beautiful and ugly all at the same time. Again, heavily garlic scented Buddha bait. That's the biggest fish of the day right there. All right, going back, Paul. Oh, you want your Buddha bait back? Yeah. It's hanging out of his mouth. Bad. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, that Buddha bait was, uh, he doesn't want to let it go, so we'll let him have it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I got it back, Paul. There you go. Yep. Got it back. There you go. All right. All right, brother. Back it goes. Man, I brought I brought towels for, I brought towels for a reason. Nice. Paul's on? Are you on? Ooh, nice one, dude. Nice job. Let me see it. Paul's got another nice one. Another chunky another chunky fish. How many do you think you have on that Buddha bait, dude? Four. At least four. Maybe more than that. I can't even keep count anymore. Okay. Good job, buddy. Yep. I'll let it go. Nice. Well done, man. <laughs> Love it. I think I've even cast it that far yet, you know? Another one? Yep. Back to back casts again. Paul's on another run. It's a big one? Yeah. That's okay. Can you hoist him? No, too much line? Not enough line? Nice one. God, man, I don't even know what to say to you, dude. Look how fat it is. Look at the hook set, too. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Hook awesome. Set. Man, you're killing it, Paul. Paul, you're killing it. Good job. It. I'm going to get you back. Yeah, you're getting Yeah, You're catching up from that last time we were out here. Yeah. Way catching up. Good job, man. He's he's so hooked you can't even get it out, can you? Yeah, he's awesome. Pop it. Pop it. Nice. Pop it. That's it. <laughs> nice job. Oh, that is beautiful. beautiful Look how bass. chunky those Potomac nice River bass are. Bass. Love it, dude. Good job, man. All right, folks. That's my last cast. As Paul Spence just absolutely rears back on a giant fish. What do you got? Is it a good one? All right, you going to use your net? You want me to help you out? I'm going to get it for you. All right, follow me, guys. I'm going to get up here and help my buddy Paul out. They want stuff on the bottom, don't they? You know, what are you talking about, buddy? You got me. you faking me out, dude. I thought you had something special. Yeah, you sure were. <laughs> Paul wasn't Paul wasn't needing that. That wasn't that big a fish. But, folks, that uh, that's an example of what's going on right now. These are fish are on the bottom. They want bottom, bottom baits. They want soft plastics. I did everything I could to get the uh, tie to come up and have these moving baits work for us. But they didn't want them, so we didn't get anything on the bomber. We didn't get anything on the lunker hunt little bait. And we didn't get anything on that Lucky Craft Slim Shad. But, boy, let me tell you something. That Buddha bait absolutely annihilated them. The swagger worm, green pumpkin, ultra garlic smelling deal right out of the February mystery tackle box. So folks, if that's not an incredible reason and an incredible excuse to get yourself a mystery pack tackle box, out of all the baits in there, I pulled out one bait that I've never used before in my life. Came out here in the Potomac River and between my buddy Paul and I, Paul, how many fish do we catch on this bait? We went through the entire pack. We caught, a, we caught some giants, we caught a bunch of fish, missed a few fish, but that was the bait. So guys, if you ever consider getting yourself a mystery tackle box the one bait you pull out on any given day could be the bass catching <laughs> as paul wax back did you really do that again yeah paul i'm trying to sign out 
<laughs> you get, Paul's over here just just whacking him on the drop shot. Go ahead and do your thing, Paul. I'm going to go ahead here and sign out with the Mystery Tackle Box. Month of February, folks, as always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. Until we meet again, over and out. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, I'm busy over here, dude. <laughs>